Now, to see who goes first, uh, how about... Do you want to do low roll this time? Sure. Low roll. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, that would have been brutal otherwise. <laughs> So whenever you're... In d and I would have phoned you. Just a lie. Only a lie. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to look at that other event. Because I, cause I believe it's on the weekend of the 20th. Sure. Because I was looking for something to do on the off weekend. Because mm -hmm. I pretty much have every, something every other weekend. Gotcha. And uh, it's a modern IQ oh. in Greenville. Okay. And there's also a modern IQ in Dalton on the same day. Dalton. That's so. That's why I, before I came to Habersham, I was in Whitfield, um, Dalton. Yeah. So one thing I'd like to try. If we go there, I'm going to have to have. I say going to have to. I'm going to ask Josh to, if I can borrow his Liliana's because I've been testing online. And yeah. that Eldrazi deck, or those Eldrazi decks that are everywhere, mm -hmm. the mono black, the chalice one, I've, uh, that Moonwalker control deck, that Rakdos Moonwalker deck, mm -hmm. I've been eating up with it. So, I, I want to give that a shot. There's only two cards in the deck, well, six to eight copies total, that get taken out by the chalice. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of redundancy, there's a, you know. You have not lived until you have taken control of um, Sower of Temptation with Olivia Bulldog. <laughs> you have not lived until... Alright. Gotcha. I think this is fine. You're going first, right? Yes. Not that kind of dredge deck. <laughs> yes. I'm going to... For, I told him, but for you two, my... Uh, my die are now. I'm gonna go ahead and look. My dice, rather. My red die is set that way. Just as sort of a warning, I guess. It looks like a warning. When you get to five lives, you are in danger. I'll, I'll show the camera a thing or two while I'm at it. Oh, we're, we're already there. Okay. I mean, you can do whatever, but. Well, I'm, also, I'm also trying to find this event. I cut your deck into oblivion. <laughs> Alright. There it is. Here goes nothing. Come on, baby. Six lands. It's already looking better. Oh. I'll keep. Supposed to, <laughs> supposed to have a little more than that. Not this time. Uh, where is it? Well, while he's doing that, here's the hand as it now stands. That's sexy. The means to the end. And then these guys, just chilling. Just chilling. Ready to do their thing. Hello, oh. the hand's looking. Less great as time goes on, admittedly. 
the draws hadn't been as good to me as they could. <sighs> Sorry, it's loud. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Best turn. Cryptobagadine. Last turn. Gotcha. Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you know what that guy does, eh? Yeah. Savage. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. That looks really good. I guess it could be a little bit worse, but jeez. Yeah. Um. Ten. Seems good. I like how you did that correctly. The grizzly salvage is on top of the others in the graveyard. Yep. Alright, 16. I'm actually gonna scooch this up just a little bit. Of course. Screen around. Yeah. Troll. Um. That's annoying. Okay. Pitch gray color. In response? Yep. Yeah. Pray. Um. <laughs> That's good. Play a grave crawler. Yeah? Trigger pinch five. Mm hmm. Okay. Go to combat. Combat? Four. Lightning axe, pitching, stinky down. Okay. Not pitching, but you know what I mean. Yep. Dredge five? Yep. Two, three, four, five. And if you need to look over any of that, just let me know. No, you're good. Alright, now I'm actually going to do this if you would have gone. So it's lands, playable stuff, graveyard. Okay. Otherwise, this gets really out of hand. It makes it easier on you, it makes it easier on me. Hopefully it makes it easier on the camera. On the audience, I mean to say. Right. While you're tapped out, I might as well nip it in the bud. Okay.
It's car teeth barrels. <laughs> oh no. Well, okay. There's a third one in the hand, I imagine. Swamp? Yeah. Thanks. Replace. You have life in the lung? Yep. One, two, three. Ventral ferro. Mm -hmm. Being the relevant one from that. I like ferro. Oh, yeah. Ferro, ferro. You know this. Um. <laughs> hmm. Fetch? Yep. Math time. They have a lot of fun here. Yeah. I'd probably I'm, speed things up. I don't know if we can reach it over here, but they do have Wi Fi in there. Ah, oh, there you are. And I'll shuffle them just a sec. They have lots of Wi Fi's, but all of them are unavailable because they are secure. Yeah. We'll do it then. Maybe we have to ask permission from them. From all zero of them. There's no one here right now. I mean, they're all on the other side. Mm -hmm. so it wouldn't take us long. No way. I'm debating whether it comes in untapped or untapped. I think. I think that it's fine to stay tapped. If you'd like to cut, by all means. Shambling shell? Yep. Last turn. Shambling shell. Yeah, we're going there. Hi, girls. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hi, Sky. Let's turn. I don't know, I was telling you there are open Wi Fi networks available. I don't have as much experience with this deck. It's been a while since I played it. So I'm trying to remember what's rocking here. No worries. Stink Yep. One, two, 
two, that's a forest. Three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, good old Mistborn Forest. The uh, German revised third edition. The revised third edition, that's redundant. Um, German revised. Okay, so that's interesting. Five mana in the well. Yeah, five mana in the pool. Mm -hmm. Three mana. Eight mana. Spend seven of it mm -hmm. to flash back the spider spawning. Getting back five or getting not getting back five one two uh, spiders. Mm -hmm. Spin the one floating. Life for the long. Okay. And you are the only ones actually. Okay. The card was reprinted in Commander. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. It was. So it was the spider spawn. Oh, and that I did not know. And I will pass the turn. No wonder it's not showing anything. It's still loading. Okay. Exiles in the way. Let's scavenge. And gee, I wonder why. Yeah, shadow on the air crawler. Yeah. A big thirteen thirteen. Can we give it trample? I was thinking more of Rada Consumption second. Or that. Blow it to your face. <laughs> is that a modern playable though? It is. Okay. Okay. It's from Shadowmore. Oh, uh, not that kind of modern. I mean, like, is it good? Does it make the cut? Oh, it could. It absolutely used to. Mm. Um, before when I played this, I'm at yeah. 15. Block with the Shambling Shell? Yep. Sack it. Um, yeah. It has, it has enough counters. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it on. No, no, we're not sacking it. Spell Sky can just redirect and it'll actually give it a power. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you, you almost had me there for a sec. There was that quick, like, I knew what I was doing and then you made me doubt. Oh no! What, why was I doing it that way? Oh yeah, because Spell Sky. Which is certainly good main board. Yeah, he's good. Mm -hmm. Pass. Fetch. 16? Yeah. I always thought it would be funny to put Rata Consumption or even Flame back in here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> flame, yeah. That would be, I think that's maybe more of a win more card. But, yeah. 
Rat gives you life. Flame just oh, flames. Flame, flame specifically, I think it's more of a win more card. Yeah. Unless you're stuck under like an ensnaring bridge, perhaps. In that case, it's worth it. But even then, I think Rat of Destruction might just be better. And again, YouTube. Forced. That's a funny looking forest. It really is, but it's forest. It even has the Greek, it's called Odd Forest in German. It has the green mana symbol. They just okay. messed that up. Right. I've had plenty of time to think about this. I think we just go all in here with. No? Yeah. I think we do it. Grave Troll? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, hey, four, hey, five, six. Okay. So with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures in the graveyard, black creatures. Yes, they're all black creatures, that's right. Um, no grave troll, he's the one that throws it off. Seven mana in the pool. Five mana. 12 mana, mm -hmm. lots of mana, all of the mana, flashback, army of the damned, I'll get 13, uh, I'm going to need a different token, I imagine, or, yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember that yeah, That's this dredge deck, this weird dredge deck. Let me see if I have anything to you, you know what? It's already exile. YouTube, it's exile. This is the, these are the tokens. Or that works. He has. They are zombies. If you wouldn't mind, could I just use your zombies, zambonies? Good. So, do I go with the? What's the the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland? It has a name, I'm pretty sure. Or at least a title. Uh, the eldest one is yours. I, I leave that to you. <laughs> this one looks the most metal, so I think I'll take that. Gotcha. But they, they do come in tapped. And there are 13. Very nice. And then, with, there's two floating currently. Two black floating. Stink we do? Yep. I will have played my land, so I will pass the turn. this dome dredge deck doing its thing. It's too slow for the format now, but lots of tokens beat lots of Eldrazi. Really Very enough. true. Bloodgast. Bloodgast is good. Yep. 
One, two, a three. So, the number of black creatures remains the same, seven. No, no, it, it, I, uh, I brought back life from the loam, so there's one additional. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so there's eight. Yeah. There are eight. There's actually 26 more zombies out, but whatever. <laughs> no worries. I will say that you have that game, sir. Okay, so now that you know how the deck works, that doesn't go well in the future. But that is, that is how we do it. This is how we do it. on March 7th. So right now we're kind of having a little bit of a dredge mirror. They're, they're different. They are different. <laughs> Before too long, if I can borrow some cards from Josh or someone else. Oh wait, you just. Sorry, you just got mine. That's right. Force habit. Um, I will try to do a mono green mirror with you. Mono green and text mirror. Okay. I've tweaked mine a bit so that it has some game against the. Uh, the Drazi decks. I'm keeping. What if it works? Hell. No land hand. I gotcha. Does not do it. Alright. This deck mulligan's okay. It's, it's not the most redundant deck in the world. And unfortunately, like any dredge deck, once you have to mulligan at all, it removes the option to not play a land, discard um, a dredger, and then pass. It removes yeah. that option. So, which isn't terribly necessary for this particular version. Weirdly enough, it helps more than you might think, though. So I didn't ask Josh for Copperline Gorge, and I didn't ask him for Deck or Salvage, which I think the deck could run as a one of. I'm not. I have extras of all of that now. Yeah. I, I think maybe Deck Moore doesn't make it um, in this particular version. That's like the one time it does, though. You have to discard, dredge, dredge into deck more, and then there, you still hit, hit a land drop. Yeah. Okay, I have to keep. Let's do it. Good? Yes. Yeah. Hi, boy. Go ahead. in the sideboard. Yeah. This is me not blaming you at all, right? And for those of you on YouTube that care, I will be competing in the IQ in Greenville on February 27th, followed by the IQ at Card Advantage in Athens, Georgia, mm -hmm. on March 6th. 
this card, this card, but we don't have the engine. It's so brutal when you do. It's so brutal when you do. Less against your deck anyway, actually. Right. Now that I think about it, it has the redemption that's in my past it. Let me just tell you everything about what I'm doing. <laughs> my, all of my thought processes. That's fun. Again, you two. Forest. A lot of planes. Faster. And that was double. That was Verhul's Grizzly. Pitch of Vinge, huh? Mm -hmm. Counter. Alright. Cast a uh, Grave Crawl. Already cut a cone. In there somewhere. Cast a Death Shadow. He dies, but he gets turned into a Venge Vine. Venge Vine? Yep. Combat. That's always fun. Yeah. Five. Blink. Pass. Oh, oh no, I've been no. poked. Oh no. Not what I wanted to see. Shindling shell. Faster. Now you're tapped out, sir. I am very tapped out. You were dead. Oh, yeah. We gotta get the rolls to Death Shadow on the bird, and then we're done. Uh, Pretty much. Discard a blood ghast. Okay. Okay. Barrels. Mm -hmm. Crack. Yep. Swamp. This shadow. Mm -hmm. Onto your lot lip troll. Yep. Fifteen counters. I think it's safe to say he's not gonna be burned out this time. Not this time. <laughs> Combats. Combats are good. Okay. It's very, very dead. And then I'll go to 10. You forget Lot Lettrell has tramp. I did forget. Okay, that's it. <laughs> no, seriously, I did. It has no worries. There we go. You know what would be a sweet sideboard card for this deck if it were legal and modern? What's that? Moments piece. Yeah. That would be broken, perhaps beyond belief, for a format like this, getting to fog twice with the same card. I was thinking you, know, you could even put Nod of the Bone in there. And yeah. I don't gain, know that it comes in this health. match. But Not in this match, yeah. but there are oh gosh. absolute advantages to it. Sure. <laughs> it's a sideboard, yeah. I got you. I actually used to run one main board. I might do that again if burn is really that prominent, if it's something like 10% of the meta. But From what I gather, right now, it's all Eldrazi, yep. uh, Affinity, and Infect. Every single top 8 deck at the Modern Pro Tour was Eldrazi, right? It was either Most. the Chalice Eldrazi, Blue-Red Eldrazi, or the Waste Eldrazi, the Mono Black Eldrazi. Yeah, mo most of them were Eldrazi. I don't know if it was all eight of them. I'd like to say I don't think it was. I think, now that I'm thinking about it, I think you're right, but... But I know that once they got to 
what was it, like the top 50 something players? Yeah. The Eldrazi was like 48% of the. I believe it. Of the meta. Followed by uh, Burn, no, not Burn, Affinity. Yep. And then Infect was like a short after that. And then like Burn and. I think that was basically it. The other category was still there, but not by much. I like the Chalice Eldrazi deck was huge in this meta. Honestly, there's two things I think that made the Infect decks that I saw anyway that were there not do well. Part of it was Chalice, of course. Right. Part of it, I didn't see Distortion Strike or Slip Through Space in any of the decks, the Infect decks that I saw that made it in uh, the Pro Tour. Yeah. I didn't see a single Distortion Strike or Slip Through Space in that. <clears throat> that means they were relying wholly on Apostles Blessing, which doesn't get through Eldrazi because they're neither artifacts nor colored. Right. And that. That was just a huge misery. Um, I was disappointed to see that. Wow. This is interesting. Yeah. I keep, but wow. I think I do too. <clears throat> okay. Black Cleave. Blue. See, sí, senor. <clears throat> and just there in the that's all. Grave Troll Shambling Shell? Yep. Pastor? <coughs> Good grief. Bloodstain. Yeah. Crap for Stomping Ground? Yeah. 17. Alright. Faithless Sitting yourself? C. On, although it's way off center or way off the you know rule of thirds. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Stomping ground. All right. Let's faithlessly loot. What an appropriate name. Take the mechanic. Well, mechanic. Add it to the actual title of the card. And it feels more red than blue to me anyway. Red is supposed to have that sort of card disadvantage, card advantage. Yeah. Where you're discarding two. Or exiling it and it goes away if you can't play it by the turn. By the turn's end. Looting! Yep. Ta da! Gas Yep. Sounds good. Go ahead. Six. C. Ha! Fantastic Warrior. Two. Three. It's about four, as close to mentally strange as you can get in modern. Six. I'm going to play you now because I'm obviously not going to loot you. Faithless looting? Let's see. Okay. Replace the first one? Okay. Fantasmagorian. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Replace the second one. This is the opposite of what happened last game. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, Okay, so this is going perfectly now. Um, last turn. You have to discard for Faithless Lenny. Oh. I... Obvious discard is obvious, but I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, dude. Of course. I swear I'm not trying to cheat you. Just don't. Cheater! He's a dirty, rotten <laughs> cheater! You all saw it! Oh, okay. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 
at nine. So I'm going to play it safe, as I know I should. Although, just to make sure, we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. We're just going to cast Spider Spawn, where X equals 13 plus 1, so 14. It, this counts all creatures, this counts only black creatures. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um. I'd be a little bit worried about dying to a random bonus. If it rolls off the top, it'd be sick. I swear. Salvage? Okay. Not pyroclastic. That's such a tough decision. I'm 
waiting for Rakdos Charm to just wreck my day. It may be too late for that now, but maybe not. I know you at least had those, and those are <laughs> miserable for me to have to deal with with this deck. Troll. I troll. Minus one, plus two, so seven, it's a 17, 17. Swing 14, which since you're at 12, two uh, blockers. Game. Okay, <laughs> so that's the deck when it does its thing. When it, Grave Troll into Grave Troll into Grave Troll. Yeah. That was sort of the nut draw. And I wanted to play cautiously, so I didn't go for the turn four kill. Maybe the odds of that happening were so low that I should have gone for it, just to give me less time to draw something like a Rakdos Charm. But I, mean, I didn't. You got you. Even if, I mean, this still would have, you still could have gotten me to it at least 12, or rather at most 12. Is this how much blood gas girls? Yeah, fantastic. Jeez, <sighs> so how did you sideboard? I, uh, I put in scavenging news. That seems good too, yeah. That seems really good. But seeing how I didn't see one. <laughs> uh, mine was Ghost Quarter. Ghost Quarter Life from the Loam was brutal, but I figured your deck had enough redundancy to have at least one basic for each color. But oh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to put in for you. I so, run plenty of basics, so. Yeah. I believe you, I just kind of. If I could get you locked. Yeah. Yeah. If. If. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. That's the deck doing its thing. Oh, gotcha. Thank you very much for, for the games and for letting me borrow. Uh, so here's the sideboard. Uh, oh, and uh, by the way, I cited out of interest. If you're okay. swinging at me, you're killing me. So. <laughs> they are. Oh, next card! Next card! Yeah. It's next always the next card. Uh, so the sideboard right now is not wholly prepared for the meta. It is. 
Let me pick this up first. This I actually really nice. like the uh, Ghost Quarter Life in the Loam. Mm -hmm. Especially with all the Eldrazi Eye of Ugin. Yep. Yep. You know, Eldrazi Temple. I was thinking of including it in the main board. Put it up to 21 minutes. I don't know. So it's a. Um, and Affinity. No. You could take out oh, all the. Take out all the Affinity lands. Yeah. Four Inch of Grudge. Three Dark Blast. A Ghost Quarter, which might go in the main. Gorgari Brown Scale. For the burn. Actually, let me, let me do it this way. Gorgari Brown Scale and two Not of the Bones. There's my burn hate between these three cards. Yeah. And Raven's Prime, which unfortunately they get to pick whatever they want. I figure it's okay because I can use it over and over again. But he does when he's. Graveyard to hand, two. Two life. And he's, he has a big enough butt, you know. His toughness is, is g good enough, usually. It blocks Goblin Guide, it blocks Swift Spear most of the time, um, it blocks Eidolon. I don't actually worry too much about Eidolon in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> right? If I'm casting it, it's ten, it's seven, it's ten mana, but it's a seven draw. Um, silly stuff like that. Silly, silly, silly stuff like that. Four Ancient Crudge for Infinity. It is not ready. This deck is not at all ready for the Eldrazi match. Um, which probably means cards like... Raven's Crime is probably out. Combo is so weak currently. Raven's Crime, I probably will just take all three of these and turn them into something else. Yeah, Ghost what, Quarters. Ghost Quarters? I thought about Ensnaring Bridge. It too. stops all of their... And yeah, Ghost Quarter makes sense. Um, and Snaring Bridge stops all of their creatures. Usually, it's, it stalls for enough time. Um, and when it comes around in my turn, with Spider Spawning, it's just draw or dredge, swing. With uh, Army of the Dam, unfortunately, I have to do that for two turns, or I have to sit there for a turn. Um, but all their creatures are so big that usually doesn't matter. And they don't have reach. They don't have, not the mechanic reach. I mean, they aren't burning my face or anything like that. Right. So, it's still not a good match just because of all the graveyard hate. But if it weren't for that, I actually think I'm really confident in that particular match. Yeah. I'm bringing in one, maybe two Ancient Grudge for uh, Chalice and that sort of thing. Your, your biggest problem is going to be turn one relic. Relic. Relic, which is a four of. In that particular Eldrazi deck, yeah, I'm just screwed. In the, the Chalice Eldrazi, it has Relic in the sideboard. And I don't have White for Sony Silence, but it's almost worth it, right? I, unfortunately, I can't Sony, if I dredge Sony Silence, it's just gone. Yeah. Part of the beauty of all of these cards is that they do stuff if they hit the yard. Uh, and Snaring Bridge would not. If it hit the yard, it's gone. I don't know. It's just something to think about. Try to figure out a way around that. Yeah. I guess the Enchantment Prison deck would probably be okay against them. Yeah. I don't know. Just throwing that out. So that's that's it. What what do I mulligan to in Staring Bridge against them? Is that how I play that match? Probably. Honestly, that might be a legit way to do it. All right. We'll see you later.